Hey everyone, welcome to the Neo Marketing Podcast. Today we're going to talk about ways to start up or side hustle, including co work and other options in 2018. Welcome to the weekly Neo Marketing Podcast, featuring one half of the Golden Group C Suite, Kyle Golding, and Chris Pritchard, APR PRSA Fellow. Hey, good morning, Pritch. How are you doing? Great, thanks. How are you? Kyle? Fantastic. Awesome. We are here in the co-work space at the Project 3810, nice which digs. is where our office is. Yeah. Uh, so this is a place you can see some of the, the spots there, and there's some more on the other side of the room. People can come in, rent them by the day, by the week, by the month, real low cost, no commitment. Our office is down the hall. The whole building is kind of an incubator uh, type space. Uh, so I thought we would talk about that today. Some of the ways that uh, if you want to do a startup or you want to side hustle or you kind of want to start a business or even a nonprofit and uh, maybe you want to keep your day job, you want, you know, to want a full commitment of going and leasing a big space and, and getting all that, that far into it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is one of the options, co-working, uh, which is really becoming popular recently. Our last space that we worked out at 1219 Creative, of course, we did co-working there for a couple right, of years. Right. Very happy that they have co-working here at, the, at Project 3810. That's a great opportunity for someone who's a startup side hustle to have a physical space and be around other entrepreneurs and startups. And I think that's really important, being around other people going through the yeah. similar types of trials and tribulations you are. Maybe their business is different, but they have the same challenges, right? Well, and a lot of people think, Al, I just carve out a, a home office. I'll right. take a room in my house or... You know, I use the kitchen table for my uh, for my office. And we've all done it, I think. Uh, yes, <laughs> indeed. Uh, but then, you know, the spouse is vacuuming, the dogs are barking. Dogs and, are always barking at my house. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard to get something done in a home office. And it's impossible to have meetings with the clients, potential clients, vendors, etc., um, in a situation like this, you don't necessarily want right. to invite them in your home and you want a professional uh, atmosphere. Uh, places like this, um, almost every co-working space I've been in has a communal um, meeting space or right. conference room, conference that, room. That's, that's part of the deal too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it's safety, it's professionalism. Uh, but again, for me, it's really about being around other people that have the same mindset and the same trials and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah, and for me, it'd be uh, concentration. I just, you know, if I've got my head down and I'm on a roll, I've got my, my stuff going on, I don't want any interruptions. Which is why something like this, which is much quieter when we're not in here doing podcasts. Right. Uh, then, you know, your typical coffee shop or, right. or something like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. But there's absolutely. some other options that you could look at besides co-work space. There's obviously incubators and accelerators, which are pretty uh, specific and advanced programs. Right. But if someone's not ready for that, there are ways to get around people people doing startups and side hustles, right? Like professional groups, the local university. Absolutely. I know OU has a great space. Yeah, we're uh, uh, getting into that incubator-like uh, workspace, common workspace, the the uh, uh, innovation lab on the South Campus, the research campus. Really cool space. Open to everybody. We've yeah. done a couple of podcasts there. Right. They've got a maker space. Um, it's, it's really phenomenal. It's traditional, like... Uh, table saws and, and drills, but they also have 3D printers, 3D printers. automated sewing machines, right. but then they have the technology side, right? With VR and yep. uh, AI labs and, and uh, the places that we were doing our podcast out of as well. Like all that technology is there too, yep. right? Absolutely. And again, I think like-minded people, right? Whether you're making something physical or you're creating something in cyberspace, yeah. uh, you know, it's the idea yeah. center, right? A right. place to work. Well, uh, yeah, you've got experts around you. you. If you've got a question, you can ask. It's it's a cool space. So you work with college uh, students every day, university kids. The, a lot of them are graduating. They're trying to figure out what they're doing with their life. Some of them may want to do a startup or a side hustle right. uh, while they're in school. So what kind of recommendations do you give to them about how to connect with professionals and get in the real world? As And I know you always say that college is the real world. I'm about to, I got in trouble for saying that. When they get into the working world, right. and then not just being in a university space. Right. Yeah, I think one of the leading organizations, and I am biased because I'm on the board, but PRSA is a, the Public Relations Society of America, is a great organization. Again, like-minded people, lots of knowledge. The, the professional development over the last three or four years has just gone through the roof. Yep. Um, it, and if you can't find it in PD, 
there are lots of experts that you can reach out to and talk to. There you go. So there's lots of communication groups like PRSA, uh, AMA, the American Marketing Association, right. IBC, International Association of Business Communicators, uh, your local ad club, right? There's also right. professional organizations like Local New Venture Forum, one of the things right. we're a member of. Absolutely. Your local Chamber of Commerce, and sometimes they have young professional groups. Mm -hmm. Chambers of Commerce do, uh, business schools do, a lot of, of young professional groups that you can get around, even right. nonprofit based. Yep. Um, I know the Oklahoma City Philharmonic has a young professionals group. I know the museum has one too. The Arts Council has one as well. Mm -hmm. Great ways to get around other young professionals who have similar ideas and right, just meeting each other, connecting, networking. Yeah. And I'd be remiss to, if I didn't mention that PRSA has a young professional True. group too. New professional is yes, because sometimes they're you know you come into the career field late. Yeah, you might yeah right. You might take a while in college or go back to college. <laughs> right. right, right, exactly. <laughs> so these are all great options uh, on top of official incubators and accelerator programs that you can find at most university campuses, places like Metro Tech too, right? Right, yep, And exactly. we teach a class at Metro we Tech. We do, we do. Part uh, of their on, on small business, business. right? We, we teach one session on marketing and PR, uh, communications for small business, but a Metro Tech or a, a local uh, professional development center in your in your city or town has something like that as well, yep. right? Absolutely, lots of options. When, it, when in doubt, Google it. See what's in your town <laughs> go and to the go Oracle. check them all out. <laughs> right. Every single one of these programs or co-work spaces I've ever been in, they always invite people to come in to see what they're doing, try it out for a day. You bet. Um, same thing with the universities, right? They'll let you come in and kind of see what's happening in class, meet people, talk to professors and Absolutely. things. So, um, and the Innovation Hub, right, is open the to the public. Hub, you, don't have open to be to the public. you don't have to be at the university, you right? You do not. These are great options that you guys have. If you guys have ideas, you want to do a startup, side hustle, etc. Think about it. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys today. If you still have questions, hit us up in the comments, however you're seeing or hearing the video or the podcast. Make a comment, ask us a question. We'll try to tell you anything we know. We definitely know Oklahoma City and Tulsa. And if it's not something that uh, you're in, if you're in another area, we'll tell you some things maybe you can Google or look up or ask uh, some people you can ask about some options you have to do something like a startup or a side hustle, right? And hey, if we forgot something, let us know. Oh yeah, that's true too. If there's something we didn't think about, let us know. We'll share that with the audience as well. So until next time, good luck. Ciao.